Hello and welcome to my roller ski inventory system. This program was designed and built for my client who is a cross country ski coach at a high school in the upper Midwest. During the summer, a training tool his athletes use to maintain fitness and work on technique are roller skis, an all snow equivalent to cross country skiing. To give you an example of what we're dealing with, this is an example of a roller ski. When you first run the program, it'll ask you to log in or to create an account. Since we don't already have, a have an account, we'll make one. So enter my username, which is B1234, and the password would be the same thing. Now that you created an account, you have to log in. 1234. And if I type my password in wrong, like adding an extra digit, it'll say it does not match. We have to try again. So we'll log in. And there, it takes you to the home page. Only one of the things that can be approved on this system is it's asking you to um, log in again which I'm not totally sure why that's there and so to make this program better you could fix that. Another way you could make this program better is by having after you add a roller ski to the database having it instantly go back to the home page and so you don't have to log in again and go through the whole process. So now the first thing we want to do is add a roller ski to the database. So we'll do that by selecting one. The roller ski number is going to be number one. The brand, a common brand is Marwi. Technique, we'll say Combi, which is a mixture of both skate and classic. And we purchased it on March 15th, 2019. And then we don't have any notes, so we can just press space and it adds it to the database. If we want to edit the notes of a roller ski, we can press 5. We can enter the roller ski number that we want to edit by pressing 1. We can enter the notes. So we can just say broken wheel. And that'll update the roller ski. So now we can search for that roller ski, enter the number. And as you can see, it prints out the roller ski's information along with its broken wheel. So now that we have a roller ski in the database, we can check out that roller ski to an individual. Um, so we checking out roller ski number one. The athlete's name can be John, and their phone number can be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that updates the roller skis information in the database. Nice features of this program is its sort function. So we can press three to sort and it gives us four different options or ways to sort our roller skis. Right now we want to view all the available, the availability of roller skis. And if we press two, we can see all the unavailable roller skis, which right now is just roller ski number two or one, my bad, which has been checked out to John and his phone number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Another way we can sort the roller skis is by number, press four. This gives us a full list of all the roller skis. There's two ways here we can make this program better. As you can see, it's only, only somewhat sorted by number. There's like strings of sorted numbers, but then it breaks and continues sorting correctly. So fixing that would be a way to get the program working better. And then another way we can make this program better is by taking this list of roller skis and exporting it onto a Google Sheet to make it a little easier to read. So maybe now it's the end of the season and it's time for the athletes to check in their roller skis. We can check in roller skis by pressing seven, entering the roller ski number, and editing the notes. So if, a if an athlete brings back a broken roller ski, we can edit the notes here but this just updates the roller skis availability and makes it available for the next athlete to check out. If a roller ski has been brought back and it's broken around beyond repair, it's just not worth it to fix it, we can delete it from the roller ski database by pressing two, entering the number of the roller ski, and it just deletes it from the database, so it's gone now.